growing up in Wales with music, it was a special time because there's not that many bands that come from Wales, but the bands that do come from Wales are really kind of like, I feel are influential. Like we, I said before, Funeral for a Friend are a great example for me because they were like the Welsh emo band of, of their time. There's something in the water in Wales where like everyone loves kind of music and in, in our in our scene especially there's you know there's so many like cool local bands that we're friends with and we grew up with and it was always a case of like ah oh, you know we'll headline this show and you guys support us and then you you guys headline the next one and like we'll come and support you and uh, it just seems to be a real kind of family atmosphere just being Welsh you know because like everyone nobody knows where Wales is outside of the UK so just being Welsh is this thing we all share and we can you know, really appreciate and come together with. <laughs> So growing up, the thing that got me into playing guitar was James Hetfield and um, that really kind of influenced my play style from the beginning because I was never like a, uh, like a lead guitar fan. Um, for some reason I love James Hetfield and it is, you know, it's kind of like down-picked rhythm kind of thing and that's always stuck with me. Through the years then, bands like Silverstein, um, like The Used, and those kind of like emo bands that really kind of focused on songwriting and chord structures and kind of, yeah, these big expansive chords just really stuck with me. I can't tell you why, I, I just, I really enjoy playing that more so, like, like hearing a song come together that way rather than having, you know, like, oh, where can I shred? What can I, what can I show off doing? I, I, I love the idea of writing a song and having it come to life just on, off his own back, you know, not to kind of like talk bad about, um, or, you know, look down upon people who like play shred guitar or, or, or whatever, but that's just not what, what I've kind of resonated with in the past. <laughs> Today I'm using a JCM 800 Studio with uh, a vertical 2x12 uh, with V-type speakers. It's like everything you love about sort of the, the full fat 100 watt version, but like condensed into a just a lower wattage. Um, I prefer using like lower wattage heads myself. Like when I've had marshes in the past, I've always like preferred to go for like the 50 watts just because I don't need that headroom. And like our sound guy always hates the fact that you know you've got to like crank it all the way up to get it to sound the best. So uh, yeah, whenever possible, I'd always like opt for a 50 watt, but 20 watt, even better. Um, I always kind of like scoop the mids, um, push the highs, but I found on this, I've not got the treble and presence anywhere near where I'd normally kind of have it set on any other amps that I'd use. Just like, it's got that like inherent brightness and clarity built in. And um, especially like with signal coils in my guitar, it just like absolutely shines and really lends itself to like my style of guitar playing. I play big kind of like, you know, extended chords. So like that clarity really helps each note like ring out and, and kind of just sound exactly how I want it to sound rather than it just being a big distorted muddy mess really. 